Every day, the perishable goods are packed up for transport. Harvest Fresh supplies large supermarket chains with vegetables grown on the company's own fields and nearby farms. The truck interior has to reach the required temperature before the delicate freight can be loaded. The vegetables have to be kept cool at a constant temperature of 2.7 degrees Celsius during the transport. That will be checked on delivery. Any heat and stuff that comes in to the vegetables that are not sealed properly and not cooled properly goes to waste. Refrigerated transport is important in a hot country like South Africa. This is one of the 13,000 or so refrigerated trucks in the country. The fleet emits enormous amounts of greenhouse gases. The cargo area of most trucks is poorly insulated, resulting in greater diesel fuel consumption and spoiled produce. South Africa's Agency for Standards, the SAPS, wants to make refrigerated transports more climate friendly. A testing hall for the refrigerated trucks was recently opened here, the first on the African continent. Transport vehicles here are bigger and more powerful than they are in Europe. At the moment, only one out of five manufacturers meets the minimum standards for insulation. That gives a tool to all the manufacturers to improve the insulation properties. With a lot of new trucks out there with better insulation, we know we will use less diesel to, to run the cooling systems. Less diesel means less carbon emissions into the atmosphere. Every vehicle tested here gets an environmental seal. Before long, the seal will be required on all vehicles that transport fresh produce abroad. It tells how much fuel the vehicle needs for refrigeration and gives the values measured by the temperature sensors in the testing chamber. Yeah, that's correct. Entering Johannesburg. Lucky Thanthani has been on the road with his vegetable truck for about an hour and a half. A special coolant helps maintain the low temperature in the cargo area. Most refrigerated trucks use this coolant, which contains a chemical that is harmful to the environment. Its impact on the atmosphere is 4,000 times greater than CO2. The Trans Fridge Company plans on switching to another refrigerant. The company has developed this prototype that will soon hit the market. It says it's the world's only cooling system that uses propane, while minimizing the risk of using the flammable substance. Okay, that's fun. We use propane because it is totally environmentally friendly. It does nothing to the ozone layer. Its carbon footprint is very small. The cooling unit can be powered by a small motor. That saves on fuel costs. If everything works out as planned, the conventional, environmentally harmful coolant will no longer be used here. The company wants to install the propane technology in all refrigeration units for large, medium and small vehicles. Then we will look at exporting to the local African markets, um, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Namibia, Botswana, Mozambique. We, we, are, we have a very good presence in all those markets. And once it's proven here, we will introduce it into those markets. Experts estimate that by 2030, South Africa can reduce its CO2 emissions by 2 million tons, alone through better insulation and propane-based cooling units.